What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to walk you through a simple Facebook video ad and kind of kind of just go over the, 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 the reasons why you would want to run a, a video ad in the first place. Um, as I keep talking about on my channel, the number one, or there's two reasons. The, 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 the top two reasons why you want to even run a Facebook ad is number one, to capture a lead, or number two, to make a sell, okay? Whatever you're doing, whatever type of business you got going on, whether it's an online business or an offline business, your two main objectives is to, is to make a sell online or capture a lead. Now, the powerful thing about Facebook ads is the fact that there's so much tracking and they're, they're, they're the opportunity to be able to build audiences and, 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 and build audiences of people that are actually watching or engaging in your stuff, which AKA turns them into a warm audience is, is powerful. There's no other platform as, as, as effective as Facebook when it comes to the tracking and being able to, to build audiences of specific groups of people that are already engaging or watching your stuff. And so the reason why you'd want to run a, a video ad is to not necessarily accomplish one of, those, one, one of those two goals, which is make a sell or capture a lead. The whole purpose of running a video ad is to build an audience, is to capture an audience of people who are actually going to watch it. So then you can turn around and retarget those people in the future. So in this particular case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a video ad of this video. This is a real estate agent. She's selling this property right here. And we want to just get some exposure. We want to get some brand awareness. We want to get some exposure. We want to get some people in that area watching the video. And so I'm going to kind of show you exactly the power of it as I go and set it up. Again, our whole objective is to find a warm audience, find the people who are actually going to watch it, and then we'll turn around a week from now, for example, and retarget them with some type of traffic or conversion ad to capture the lead. Okay, so right now we want to just build a warm audience and we want to we want to find those who are going to engage and watch the video. And that's the whole reason why you want to run a video ad first is to find the warm audience. Okay, aka the people who actually watch it. And so if you don't, if you're not familiar with custom audiences, you absolutely have to get get familiar with custom audiences. So stay to the end of this video and you're going to see a video come up at the end on how to set up a, a Facebook custom audience. Okay. A custom audience is going to be people who watched the video. So Facebook is going to allow me to, to build up an audience of people who watched 15% of it, people who watched 50% of it, people who watched 75, who watched 95% of the video. If I can run a video, this is a, a two minute video right here, right? Two minutes and 50 seconds or whatever, two minutes and 58 seconds, okay? If I can build an audience of people who watch 95% of that, that's powerful because who the hell is going to sit here and, and we're talking about a targeted audience. We're talking about a targeted demographic, a location, a specific area that we're going to be running this ad to. For a person to sit there and watch two minutes of it, there's some type of interest. And, and, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to build an audience of those people who actually watched, let's just say, two minutes of it. And again, next week when I go and run the ad again, I'm going to retarget those same people, but with a different objective. And the objective at that point will be conversions, okay? Because our whole goal would be to drive it to a landing page and a capture the lead. But the first video, the first one we roll, we roll out, again, is just to build the audience, to find the audience and get some type of engagement so we can track it and then retarget in the future. So here's what I'm going to do. The, the post is posted, right? The video, it's posted here on the page. Um, awesome, awesome video, right? Awesome video. Shout out to Jen King. And what we're going to do is we're going to simply – Come into the, we're going to come over here, click create, and we're going to click on add. When we click on add, that's going to bring us to this page right here, which you guys should bookmark. Um, and this is where all the magic happens. This is how we set it up. Now, depending on, on the industry that you're in, um, in this case, she's a real estate agent. So I have to go with housing. If it was insurance, I would also go with housing, mortgage loans, or other related opportunities. You have to click on housing. If you're, if you're looking, um, or if you're running ads for some type of job offer, you're an employer, you're looking to hire people, um, you're looking for interns, any type of professional certification programs or other related opportunities, you would click on employment. And if you're running ads for credit, 
you click on credit. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna go with housing, um, and then I'm gonna come down here, and I'm gonna click on video views. Okay, now here's another thing to, 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 to always you know, keep in mind, and I've touched on this on previous videos. If you don't have the right objective, okay, it all starts here, man. You can have the best targeting. You can have the, the best budget. You can have the best video or an image. You can have all that stuff going for you, but if you choose the wrong objective and you have a completely different expectation, you're going to be crushed. You're going to be like, holy shit, Facebook ads don't work. I'm not going to spend money on that. I just got ripped off. Mark Zuckerberg just took me for a hundred bucks and I didn't see shit. There was no return, no ROI, the hell with Facebook ads. That's how you're going to be thinking if you choose the wrong objective. So it all starts here, man. And this is what I truly believe would have saved me so much time and so much money um, in the past had I known the right objectives to begin with. I would always learn from people online about targeting or about, about the, the image or the video. But for some reason, this first step was always missed out. And I've been following the best of the best. And it's like, man, it all starts here. Because if you're running video views, that's specifically for video views. It's not to capture a lead. It's not to make a sell. It's not to have someone click and buy your product. That's not video views. Even though you're running a video post, a video ad, and you're trying to capture a lead from it or, or make a sell from it, drive someone to your Shopify store or something, and, you're, and, and it's a video and you're running it under video views, you're going to be very disappointed because you're not going to capture a lead and you're not going to make a sell because it's not optimized for that. That's not the objective. The objective here is to strictly get people to view the video. Now, can some people click on learn more and go to a web page? Yeah. Can some people click on send message and send you a message? Yeah, it's possible, but it's, it's, it's likely not to happen. You're paying Facebook right here just to build the audience, to find people who are actually going to watch it, okay? You're running an ad to a cold market, for example. That's what we're going to be doing here. I don't have any, any warm market. I didn't upload a custom audience. I didn't do any of that. I'm going to be running this out to a cold market. This is the very first ad. And so this, this video is going to be seen by people that don't know her, these are people that don't like her business page yet. These are people that are not friends with her on Facebook. It's a cold market. People that have never seen an ad from her before, it's a cold market. So again, what I'm trying to say is that the whole reason why I'm going to run it under video views is to find the audience, is to run it to X amount of people, to find the X amount of people who are actually going to watch it. So therefore, I can come around next week and run another ad to those people and convert. Okay, so you want to build audiences in Facebook. That's what it's all about, man. It's all about your custom audiences from the people who are watching your videos and, um, and retargeting those audiences with conversion ads in the future. That's what this is all about, man. So we're going to roll out for the first time and we're going to go video views and I'm going to name this um, Jen. Let's go with uh, Jen King listing. And I'll just name it that, and then I'm going to go copy, and then I'm not going to do budget optimization. I'm going to just hit continue, and I'm going to paste the same thing up here. You guys can title it however you want to title it, but I'm going to just leave it simple, keep it like that. And then I don't have any, any custom audiences just yet, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to target people who live in her area. In the county of how do you how do you spell it? Um, Seminole. Seminole. There we go. So that's the county right there, Seminole County. We're gonna target that entire area of Seminole County, and that's a that's a a, a potential reach of 200, 260,000 people. Now, after I kind of put down, um, I'm gonna go English all. And then I'm going to leave the targeting open. I'm not, going to, I'm not going to put anything in on the targeting. I'm going to exclude people who like her page. So we don't need to target any of those people because chances are a lot of those people who like her page do not necessarily live in Seminole County. So I don't want to target anyone else outside of that, of that area. Now, once I put in the budget, and I'm going to go automatic placements, I'll leave it there. Through play, I'll leave it there. Um, I'm going to go with lifetime budget and I'm going to go lifetime budget of 25 bucks. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply build 
an audience. So today is the 28th. I'm going to go with, um, let's see, let's start running it. Let's start running it. Um, in fact, we're going to go first thing in the morning. And what I do is I always give Facebook enough time to review the ad. Um, that's what I'm always doing. So I'll always like put it out like a few hours or even put it out, you know, a day if, 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 if anything, because I want, I don't want to, I don't want to start it right now. And then Facebook still has to approve it. I want to give Facebook plenty of time to approve it. So I'm going to run this for, um, let's see, 28. Um, let's go one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to run it to Thursday the second. And I always choose the same time. So whatever time I start it is the time that I end it. So I can really get that full, even um, um, spent, ad spent. So lifetime budget, 25 bucks, um, started on the 29th at 6 a.m. and then ended on the 20, on the, on the second at, um, at 6 a.m. In fact, you know what, let's go one more day. We'll, we'll run it to the third. Okay. So here's, here's the goal. Here, here's the deal. Um, run ads all the time. That's fine. Okay, perfect. So here's my point based on, based on the targeting. Okay. Based, based on the County and really that's really it based on the County, obviously based on the age, but, um, based it's mainly based on the County. There's a potential reach of 250,000 now based on my budget, based on my budget, that's what determines the estimated daily result. So it's saying, okay, you have a potential reach of 333 to 963, okay? That's saying 333 people up to almost 1,000 people based on a $25 lifetime budget um, will end up seeing that per day, okay? Now, here's the whole thing about the, about the custom audiences and building, building up that retargeting ability. Based on that budget, that's how many people are, are, are likely to see it per day. Okay. A few hundred people per day. I'm going to run it for a few days at the end of the campaign. There's my audience. So I'm going to be able to, to retarget and build a custom audience around people who actually watched X amount. Okay. So again, stay to the end of the video. You're going to see that video pop up at the end. Um, Facebook custom audiences. You have to learn how to build up a custom audience because this, none of this stuff's going to, going to matter if you're not, building up these audiences and retargeting them. That's the power, man. That's the power of video. That's the power of video is the fact that Facebook gives you the ability to build custom audiences around people who watch X amount of the video. So again, we're looking at about a three minute video. Someone that can sit there and watch two minutes of the video and they live in my local area, that's a warm person. That's a warm prospect. Ain't no way in hell someone's going to sit there and watch two minutes of something if there's absolutely no interest. There's no way in hell you guys would sit there and watch 15 seconds of something if there was absolutely no interest. So again, the power of video is the fact that we can break it down. I could target people who watch uh, 10 seconds of it. I could target people who watch 30 seconds of it. 50 seconds of it. So it's, it, I can build up audiences around whatever time frame I want and just retarget, 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 continue to show these people ads in the future, which allow me to build a warm market, a, a warm audience, excuse me. It allows me to build a warm audience and keep my Facebook ad costs down and only target the most relevant people, people that are actually watching my stuff, people that are actually engaging with my ads. That's powerful. Okay, so I'm gonna leave everything here that way and then i'm going to go to continue and then this is the third and final step and because we already posted it on the business page we're going to simply use existing post so let's paste that title in there we're going to hit this drop down and make sure we're on the correct business page and there it is there and we're going to use existing post Okay, and then we're going to select post, and we're going to look for that recent post, which is this one right here. Soaring Eagle, check out the new video for my gorgeous listening in Lake Mary. Check out the video for my new, okay, so it's that one right there. Perfect, so we're going to click on that, hit continue. And then we can also add a call to action button. So again, 
don't run a video view ad thinking you're going to capture a lead, thinking that you're going to make a sell. Not under video views, you're not. The objective here is to get a few thousand people to view it so we can build a custom audience and retarget those people in the future with conversion ads. Why conversion? Is because conversion is exactly what it is conversion. Those ads are optimized to get people to click and buy or click and fill out an opt-in form. Okay. So in this case with a real estate agent, clicking and filling out an opt-in form, capturing a lead is what it's all about. But again, we're going to start with video views so we can at least capture the audience and be able to retarget them in the future with conversions. Okay. So what we can do just for the hell of it, because once I turn off the ad, here's the reason why I post it on the page first. I post it on the page so when I do turn off the ad, it stays. A lot of people will run ads and they'll, they'll um, let me go send message. I'm going to just go send message since we're not driving them to a landing page or anything like that. We'll hit send message. But um, uh, what was I saying? Shit. What was I saying? Um, I was saying a lot of people... I think I was going to say a lot of people will run a video view ad thinking that they're going to capture leads from it. I think I was saying something like that. And, and that's not, that's not going to happen. So again, make sure you stay to the end of the video, man. You got to know how to set up custom audiences. That's, that's, that's how all this is going to make sense. Watch that video for sure. You'll see it pop up on the bottom. Um, um, and that, that will make, that'll, that'll help you understand what's going on here. It's to capture the audience, to retarget them in the future with, with conversions. Okay. So, that's how it's going to look right there. And then we scroll down, we scroll down, we can just leave that the way it is. And then we hit your, this ad may not run. It looks like you have not yet certified that you'll comply with our non. Okay. So let's click here. I'm glad this popped up because every page you have to comply on every page. And this is the first one that I'm running for this one. So let's just comply real quick, which I think is just clicking a button. Okay. Except ad targeting, non-discrimination policy. I reviewed click up by clicking. I accept. Okay, perfect. So where is, okay. So let's click right there. Click right there. Okay, by clicking I accept. Where's the freaking I accept button at? Okay, so I guess it already took it. Yeah, it already took it. So we should be good. Okay, so we're good. Okay, so all that is good. All that is good. All that is good. All that is good. And then we hit confirm and we are good. And then if you want to actually see what it looks like in the news feed, here's how you want to do it. So once it goes into review, that's why I said it's a start and an end date. And I pushed the start date out because it has to go into review. It has to go into review. So I don't want to, I don't want to have it turn on right or, or, or start. I don't want it to start just randomly. I want to know when it's going to start. Okay. So, so that's it right there. Click on it and then click on this third tab over here. Click on edit. And then you can see what it looks like in the actual news feed. And so this is what it looks like in real time. Once it does go live, you can, you can look at it from, from different um, um, mobile, desktop, um, iPad, tablet. Like you can, you, can, you can definitely choose the different views, desktop, Instagram feed, Instagram feed, mobile. So you can see all that right there, right? But then this is the button I want to click on right here. And then I can view on Facebook. I can view on Facebook. I can see uh, with comments on it. I can share, share the link. But here's what I want to do. I want to view it on desktop. So here's what it looks like in real time. So you just scroll through, scroll through. Oh, shout out to my son. Look at my little boy get down real quick. This is three years ago. We... Uh, Go back to boxing next week. Check out my little boy real quick. Bam.
Getting it in. Man, time flies, you guys. Bam. Shout out to House of Boxing. House of Boxing, that's where we get it in. Scroll down, scroll down, bam. And there is the ad in real time, okay? So that's what it's going to look like, you guys. Shout out to Jen, crushing it out there in Florida and just ready to take her business to the next level. So that's what it is, you guys. And make sure you comply if you are running those types of ads. And then once I just uh, I'll go back, just hit that, X out of that, X out of that. And then the ad is in review and it'll go active when it goes active, which is tomorrow at 6 a.m. All right, you guys. So again, the whole purpose of this is to, is to build a custom audience of the people who are actually going to watch it, right? And then I can, I can retarget those people in the future for conversions, okay? So hopefully that made sense, you guys. I'll see you on the next video. Watch this video below. Set up your custom audiences.